I went on a plant-based diet for 30 days. So, is it really the best diet? What is a plant-based diet? Is it vegetarian? Vegan? Can you eat meat? Well, the truth is that the definition of a plant-based diet differs depending on who you ask. So generally, it is a lifestyle choice that emphasizes on eating more real, whole foods that comes from plants. To me, plant-based does not mean completely eliminating lean sources of protein. So when I started this year, I knew that I needed a cleanse from all the holiday foods and decided to go on a 30-day plant-based diet. Honestly, I was a little bit worried as I know that my body does not do well consuming lots of beans and lentils on a daily basis. I have a very sensitive stomach and often feel bloated because of my IBS. So beans and lentils can cause bloating because of the excess fiber that I'm taking in. Plus, I'm intolerant to temper. <laughs> so that's completely out of the question. Knowing my body, I decided not to stress myself out and take a more relaxed approach. At the end of the day, you need to eat according to what works for your body and not just follow a certain diet or restrict your food or even force yourself to eat too much of a certain type of food just because they are healthy. So it really is a process of understanding your body and how your body reacts to different foods. I didn't completely eliminate meat. As some of you might know, I'm pescatarian. So I do consume fish and seafood because I know that my body needs high amounts of omega-3s and vitamin B12. During the entire 30 days, I made sure to add a lot more plant-based foods, especially fresh vegetables into all my meals. So for the first two weeks, I consumed fish for one meal daily. And on the third and fourth week, I slowly reduce it to every alternate days. So it wasn't a drastic change, but a gradual one. Now, when it comes to consuming beans and lentils, I would go for canned beans. The canning process actually helps to break down some of the carbs in the beans, making them a lot easier to digest and less likely to cause gas. If possible, choose the low sodium option and also be sure to rinse the beans to reduce the sodium content. Another really simple trick is to soak the beans in water before you cook them for three to four hours. And this will help get rid of some of the gas producing cups. So some of the beans that work well for my body are black beans and also chickpeas. And that's also the reason why you see them being repeated a lot in my recipes. So it was through a lot of trial throughout the years. I don't consume any dairy as I'm lactose intolerant. So I've swapped with non-dairy milk, such as unsweetened soy or almond milk. What I've learned about the plant-based diets is that they promote inclusivity over exclusivity. So it's not asking you to completely eliminate a food group or restricting what you can eat, such as no carbs or low fat, which you know that I'm against but rather it's about consuming a well-balanced diet that emphasizes on the consumption of healthy, real plant foods such as whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, legumes, healthy fats while reducing the intake of unhealthy plant foods as well as animal products. Did I feel hungry when I was eating more plant foods? Not really, because having huge amounts of veggies really filled me up. Plus, they are low in calories, which can help with weight loss. Another common question is, did I have a sense of not feeling satisfied? No, because I could still enjoy lots of healthy complex carbs and also healthy fats such as nuts and avocado, which really helped with my hunger. Did it affect my workout? Honestly, no, as I was consuming enough protein from beans, tofu, nuts and seeds, as well as fish. To be honest, it wasn't that difficult because it didn't differ much from my previous eating habits and also my values. I didn't feel as bloated compared to when I tried a vegan lifestyle because I felt that my food choices were very limited and those food didn't do well with my tummy. I want to emphasize that this is a whole food plant-based diet because you can eat plant foods but be super unhealthy. For instance, 
Eating french fries and cookies every day is still a plant-based diet, but it's going to cause more damage to your body. It goes back to the simple principle of eating real whole food and avoid fast food, desserts, sweetened drinks, refined grains, packaged foods and processed meats. So how can you make this transition in seven simple steps? If you have been struggling to make the transition to eat better or you have failed in all sorts of different diets out there, then the plant-based approach may suit you. Here are seven really simple steps for you to make that transition. Eat more veggies, more often whenever you can. Emphasize real, whole foods versus processed ones. Fill up on a salad or veggie heavy soup before your main meal. I have lots of recipes on my channel. Switch your typical portion sizes meant for meat with vegetables. So your plate should be filled up with vegetables first. Snack on nuts and seeds for more fiber and protein. Drink unsweetened coffee and tea or cut down the amount of added sugar. Enjoy sweets and treats in small amounts and avoid stocking them at home. What you decide to avoid is completely up to you. So some of you might consume 100% plant foods, whereas others, such as me, might include some meat. Even if you do a 70-30% plant-based diet, trust me, your body will feel a difference. And that is kind of where I am right now. I feel less bloated, I have more energy, better focus and honestly I don't crave as much compared to when I used to restrict my food and beat myself up over eating a piece of cookie. The bottom line is to not sweat the small stuff and look at the bigger picture instead. So focus on the big changes such as consuming less processed food and more whole foods and vegetables. I would like to think that the plant-based eating is a holistic approach to better health but in a simple and actionable way that won't overwhelm you. Plus, this is long term. So on my next video, I will be sharing a 30-day plant-based meal plan to help you get started. Be sure to stay tuned next week. Check out my YouTube channel for a lot more plant-based recipes. And give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification button. And be sure to tune in next week for my plant-based meal plan. All the best!